I bet that 99% of you have no idea what this clever little drill accessory does for you. Maybe you've walked by the store, you've seen it, and you've seen it on the aisle there, and you never put two and two together and looked at it, but this is one incredible little clever tool to have. And if you don't have this, it belongs in your drill bag. And today we're going to tell you all about it, what this tool does for you, and why it belongs in your drill bag. And it starts right now. Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here, we have all sorts of videos here for remodeling your house, making all sorts of difficult repairs. And if you haven't subscribed, this is the time to do it right now before we get started here. And when you hit that subscribe button, click on the bell icon next to it so that you'll be alerted every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss a single one. And by the way, we're shooting this video on our new Nikon Z6 camera. This is a new high-end camera and we're shooting in 4K video right now. 4K resolution, this is twice the resolution of our previous videos that we did in 1080. So this is all new gear that we're upgrading to. All right, so what this is, this is a great little set that DeWalt came out with. This is called a drywall screw setter accessory and you put this in your drill and this helps you set drywall screws at the exact perfect depth into the drywall. Normally when I do drywall and I try to avoid uh, you know uh, production levels of drywall any any time I can, I normally you will use my Senko gun right here to insert these drywall screws into the drywall to fasten the drywall onto the studs. And I'll show you how this works and we'll compare it to how this drywall screw setting bit works for your drill. Okay, so here's how I normally do it with my, uh, with my Senko Durospin. This is the, uh, my screw fastening system. So you start it like this, push it down like that. So you can see how rapidly, oh, we're out. Yeah, we missed the spot there, there was no screw there. But you can see how rapidly it sets in there. So this continuous strip of drywall screws here allows the drywall hangers to work continuously getting 50 screws up without having to stop to reload and the belt just feeds right here into the nailing gun here and you can see it's also adjustable they can adjust the depth of the screw as well here now let's take a close-up look of how these screws set into the drywall Okay, so when we take a closer look now at these three drywall screws that I just inserted with my uh, Senko screw gun there, these are set to the proper depth. This is textbook perfect depth for a drywall screw. Now you'll notice what it does is it makes just a teeny, teeny, tiny little indent in the drywall there. And so what it does is it's supposed to just barely break the surface of the paper but not push all the way through the paper because the screw is supposed to be pushing against the paper to secure the drywall to the wall. Drywall gets its strength from the paper and if you break this paper you've completely compromised your drywall. That's why a lot of times you'll see pop out these little bumps on the wall going up the wall from drywall guys that had no clue what they were doing. So this gun that I'm using sets it automatically. So now we're going to compare it to these DeWalt uh, uh, screw setting bits here for our drill and see if we can get the same effect with our drill so that you don't have to go and buy a big old fancy drywall screw gun. All right, so I'm just gonna use my little tool here to open the plastic. take one of these bad boys out. All right, so now we're going to put the bit here right into our drill. And I'll show you what this looks like close up here because this is pretty cool what this bit does for you here. Okay, so this is what your 
drill bit accessory here looks like when it's on the drill. Now what this does is you put your drywall screw in it and it actually holds it pretty good. Look at it, it's just sitting right there. It holds it really nice. And as you drill it into the drywall, you can see how the bugle of your screw right here is fitting directly inside the accessory such that it will screw the screw all the way down into the drywall and this front edge here of your accessory will hit the drywall and the force will cause the clutch of your drill to let go and it'll stop and that way your, your screw here will be set. Your drywall screw will be set at the perfect depth hopefully as good as those so let's give it a try. Okay, so we've got our screw here. Make sure you are not in hammer mode. All right, so turn the hammer mode off. Let's just put it in screwdriver mode here and see what it does. Okay, so. See how the clutch just let go of the screw? Let's do another one. I've got another screw here. I'll put it right in here. We'll put it down and the clutch just immediately stops. Now let's zoom in and see and compare it to the others. Okay, as we zoom in closer here for a nice tighter shot, you can see drywall setting bit there did a great job. I mean, look how perfect this looks here. It's just textbook. And you notice how the clutch just automatically cuts off. So this is a great way too for you to do a pretty quick volumes. You could keep a little pouch of the drywall screws hanging from your shoulder and just keep feeding one after another. I've seen guys just zip down the wall with these things here. Hey, and we'll put links down below in the description here for all of these tools and parts that we have here, links to Amazon. And we get a little bit of a commission every time you buy something there, and that's what keeps our channel going. That's what supports us and enables us to keep bringing you more and more of these videos to help you out. And look, there's an even closer look of it there. So these are textbooks. So this is a nifty little tool, and it comes with in a four pack there. So compare that to the Senko. It's very comparable. Okay, we've already shown you that the drill here does a great job. Well, what about the impact driver? You ever been caught in a job where you didn't have your drill with you, but you did have your impact driver? Will this work in there? I mean, it looks like it would fit. Okay, well, we're going to try that out right now. So beforehand, I would tend to guess that maybe it might not work as good in the impact driver because I don't think we have a clutch in here that will let loose like the drill does. The impact driver wants to go click, 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 click and keep driving it. And I think we may end up overdriving it. So maybe if you set it, uh, you know, just on the lower setting here, maybe one or two, and if you're careful enough and you eyeball it, when you're doing enough drywall screws that you know exactly how deep they need to be and when you have to stop, you can stop. And if you stop a little early, you can go click, 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 click and ratchet it until it is in the correct position. So let's try it. All right, so now we're going to insert the bit here into the impact driver right there. Let's see if it'll even hold it. So it doesn't really get a good grip on it to, to lock it in. That's what I've seen so far here. Even though there seems to be like a little rib on there for it to catch, but it doesn't want to catch, but that's not going to be a problem. So there we are, folks. There's our kissing cousins there. The impact driver on the left, the drill on the right, and let's give it a shot. So here we go, let's give it a try. Yeah, so if you give it a couple of clicks, it seems to work okay with it. Let's try another one. I'm gonna see if I can overdrive it. Let's see how it does if we try to overdrive it. Well, that's cool because you see the front edge of this tool here limits you from going too deep. So it doesn't look like you can overdrive it and burst through the paper like I originally thought. So it looks like DeWalt engineers did a really excellent job at designing this tool here. Just go right there. And I'm on the number two setting here on my um, impact driver here. But you can see all three of these cases look really good. Doesn't matter whether I use my Senko uh, driver or the drill here or over here, I'm using the, uh, the impact driver. 
Hey, so we always want to know, which of these tools do you like the best? What do you use when you're doing drywall? Let us know down in the comments below. Hey, and if you like this video so far, please give us a thumbs up down below. It lets us know that you like us. And leave any questions you want or any requests you have for future videos. We would like to see that as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button and click on the bell to let you know that every time we update a new video, we upload a video, you will be alerted immediately. And that's it for this one, folks. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.